Okay, so welcome to another episode of 120 Seconds of What We Think. Now, for those of you who are fans of HGTV, I, I enjoy uh, several programs on that. I think they do a really good job of programming. Those of you may be familiar with a show called Fixer Upper. Now, this is a couple, Chip and Joe Gaines. Uh, Chip is the husband, Joe is the wife. They came up and they're, they're, their chemistry is awesome. He's a goofball and she's, she has a very, very, a very beautiful look, but she's very down to earth and she's an amazing design sensibility. And they've taken Waco, Texas and put it on the map there. You know, nobody thinks of Waco, Texas as a place to go to, but over the, probably the last two years, they've gone from who are these people to being the number one show on HGTV. They, um, started their own store. They have their own line of, now they're going to be starting a line of clothing for, uh, based on children's clothing, I believe. And they just came out with their own book called The Magnolia Story because their store, their whole company is called Magnolia. And they, I just read a statistic, they now have, every week they have 15,000 shoppers every week that go to and wait in line to actually go to their store. In Waco? In Waco. Wow. So here, so the thing is. Are there 15,000 people in Waco? 15,003. So they just, there's a lot of repeat business. <laughs> and so, but what happens is they've innovated, Tom completely revolutionized Waco. Now it's like, we can't wait to get there. So I think it's amazing. They've taken nothing, you know, something that really had no reputation and they've made it relevant. And a big part of it is their chemistry online. They're awesome. But she also has an amazing design sensibility. So they deliver, but it's a beautiful thing to see something go from completely like, huh? The last things that we heard about Waco were not positive. You know, it was all like it uh, had to do with some cult or whatever like this and da 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 shootings years ago. And so now it's like, what an incredible place. Would love to visit there, go there, da 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 da. So, you know, I know this is our 120 seconds and I've probably taken 118 of those. But the thing is, is what's your take on, on that? Like taking something that really has not even a pulse on anyone's radar. I think it goes beyond that. I think they're rethinking media and retail. And, you know, John Andrews and I talk a lot about retail relevancy and here they've gone and they started out with a media business. They built a brand. They turned it now into a retail brand to a small store that that's getting 15,000 visitors and we didn't really get into it. Maybe you haven't seen it, but I'm sure there's something a little bit unique about the store that it's not just your, your traditional store. It's but, so driven by their person. Their person. No, but are they amazing. are driving it yes. by their, by their relationship with their audience. Yep by their own media content yep. that are driving people into the store. So I think what they're doing is they're rethinking how do we drive retail? How do we compete with a much bigger brand? And how do we do it from that perspective? And I, I love I love the idea. I haven't seen it yet. I'm really interested in checking it out. So oh, thanks for right. bringing it to my attention. What do you guys think? What do you think? And especially you, Chip, and you, Joe, what do you think? We'd Let us to, know below. We would love to hear. We'd love to hear. Steelers, baby. Just saying. Fix her up.